What's up, YouTube? Wyatt back here from Maryland Fishing Finest. Well, haven't had a video out in like a month because there's, I mean, it's, see my breath, it's 30 degrees out. There's really nothing we can really do, but, well, over the holidays, I really wanted a boat, like, very, very bad. So, invested some money, kept a lot of money, didn't spend anything from Christmas, kept it all, and... That's what we got now. This is a 12 foot water tender. Or not water tender. Starcraft 12 foot. 12 foot Starcraft. Built back in 1961. Motor is a Johnson 6.5 horsepower. Got brand new. Pretty much everything's replaced on the inside. Motor works fine. Ran it yesterday. Johnson 6.5. We uh, ran it yesterday, put it in some water, and let the prop run a little. It runs real strong, real well. This is kind of a heavy motor for this boat, actually. And then, this is a sonar system. It's a hummingbird. The sonar's not on there, as you can see. It actually, I'm going to cut this off. This is it's like goes like, the, like a cigarette lighter type of thing. It's just wired together. So I'm just going to cut this off and wire it to gator clips and put a... Put a little battery here. Look, you can see the ice. Yeah, it, it is not very warm out. That's for sure. But, got two gas tanks. One there, one there. This one's the one that's hooked up with a brand new hose. Had to replace the hose. Choke for the boat is off. As you can tell, clearly turns over. I don't want to pull it back right now because it's like 29 degrees and yesterday it was like 40 got oars everything the only thing i want to do to the boat is fix this little caulk repair which looks like it might have leaked at one time right here so we're going to take this off and probably either flex seal or some marine adhesive but as you can tell the whole front's fine it's got a winch everything this is actually a motorcycle trailer that was turned into a boat trailer as you can tell starcraft but this is definitely going to be the new boat you guys are going to be seeing me in in videos. I mean, I got this boat for under a thousand dollars with a trailer and with everything it has on it right now, and the motor totally runs. So the only thing I got to do is I got to put some. Uh, I think it's like some type of gas thing that's supposed to protect the motor when it's this cold, so the ethanol doesn't eat the motor away. Especially with it being an outboard, and then uh, I think that should be it. I mean, there's really nothing else to do. I'm gonna also repaint this because this thing looks like uh, I don't know what happened. Someone tried to repaint it, and then they were gonna paint it blue and then stopped. So, probably gonna go today, get some spray paint, and uh, probably spray paint the whole top, and then start working on the inside. I think I'm gonna leave the inside gray spray paint the outside white again like spray paint over that kind of stuff anything else but uh well i think this is going to be the only video on the channel for the next couple weeks because i really don't have any other videos to put up i mean i got a bass pro shops unboxing but that's not really fun for you guys to watch been going fishing catching a lot of fish but again it's at the same place and i just don't want to get repetitive with it but comment down below if you want to see more videos like that. Because I can definitely go perch fishing. Like any time. And they're there constantly. And that's going to end soon. But this is just forward. And then this is. So this is idle. That's that's reverse. Forward. So uh, hopefully get the boat cleaned up today. Hopefully it will warm up. Get to like at least 40. So I can spray the boat off again plugs in the boat too i was actually kind of surprised i thought the plug was going to be gone kind of happy it's not though because that would really suck this gas tank right there is full of old gas and the pipe is i, I don't really trust the old, that pipe i trust this new black one so i think i'm going to stick with the this is a 6.5 gallon and we're going to stick with that one and then that one is a that one i think is a, like a 7.5 something weird some weird gallon we're gonna stick with both of them probably not gonna use that one probably just gonna use this one because the fuel meter works correctly on this one and so does this 
pressurize it before you turn it on but hopefully I'm gonna check, check all the cylinders check everything make sure everything stays in working order and probably next week you might see a video probably just gonna take it out and start driving on it but probably not gonna be able to fish I think I might replace this in case if this doesn't work because this I'd have to get a connector for another battery and this thing is covered in rust so I'm gonna cut this off and rewire it to a to like a no, just a normal gator clips and then set a battery we're gonna have a battery right here gotta keep oil on the boat at all times because it's a two stroke so probably gonna keep a lot of gas keep that gas oil battery might put fishing rod holders here somewhere in there luckily everything else works all the we haven't checked the lights on the trailer yet that's all we got to check we took it home yesterday in the daytime so tomorrow As the Amtrak train goes by, which I was kind of hoping for it not to, but eh, is what it is. Yep, we got to place all the life vests. Gonna go get a whistle today and a couple other safety precaution things I have to have. Probably gonna try to get a waterproof thing, because I'm never gonna take this plug out of this boat. So probably gonna get a waterproof thing, put it right here, and then put the battery in it next to it so I can make them flush. And then, uh, gotta try to get the sonar working. And if it doesn't work, I'll get a cheaper Lorant sonar. Th this thing, this boat is named the Big Enough. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm just gonna change it. I think I'm just gonna keep the name because I really don't want to take all the letters off because <laughs> it'd be a pain. So, probably gonna respray paint it today white and work on a couple other, you know, normal little things. But. I'll get back with you guys on the channel, hopefully with a fishing video, not me going over boat. Might do a how-to of how to start this, because I actually looked up how to start this motor and I could not find a video. So I think I'm going to do a video on how to start it, since mine does start. <laughs> Took eight turns and it hasn't started in over two years, so I'd say that's pretty good. But uh, hopefully I'll get back to you guys next week with a video. Hopefully the boat's going to look a lot cleaner, a little nicer. But I can't really spray, I can't really uh, power wash it because of the electronics that's on it. I really don't want to take that electronic off because it would be a pain to put back on. And I got to make sure the motor's tight. I think today I'm going to take the motor off, off the boat. And then once I get the motor off the boat, probably going to store the motor for a little while and then get back after it. But I got to let this, I got to let the heat. Or not the heat. I gotta let the sun burn all this condensation off so that I, it's not wet at all when I go to store it. But, alright, well, I'll be back to you guys next time. Maryland Fishing Finder.